we going? We're going! Yay! Okay. Today's theme, Bought. Oh. <laughs> Hello! This is the Tangent Podcast. Yay. At least you got it right this time. <laughs> yeah. First uh, time as well. I know, it's so good. Okay, I'll, I'll be. So, does anyone know anything about sport? No. Football. That's good, because it's not the theme <laughs> oh. I lied! <laughs> oh, Dramatic tension. Oh. Today's theme is the blacklist. Dun, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh god, not the blacklist. <laughs> I've, I've been thinking long and hard, and I think we should abolish <laughs> the blacklist. Abolish the blacklist. Because I think once it's out of our system, we're not going to talk about it. Oh yeah. <laughs> the cat. Cat? That, that's a cat attacking Stop destroying cat and show property. <laughs> Oi. You? Pick her up by the scruff of the neck and chuck her outside. No, just, 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 I'll just pick the bag up. There we go. <laughs> Stop. Are you leaving this bit in? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing it again? No. <laughs> This is mine. Don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be like an old lady and have it on my lap. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Oh, she's oh you're confused it. now. <laughs> ah, I've outwitted you. Uh, oh. It's behind you. Yeah, I think once once we're done with blacklisting stuff, we can we can talk more freely. We can. There are probably going to be more things on the blacklist. We can though. finally talk about Doctor Who and its good points. Mm. Without just ignoring And it's it. good points, eh? All the good series, <laughs> like Russell T series and yeah. you know, the good doctors. Yeah. Nineteen sixty can... till two thousand and nine. Am I allowed to talk about porn? No. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that's just being a human being <laughs> who doesn't talk about pornography in a podcast. <laughs> oh a podcast. Unless it's a podcast about pornography specifically. <laughs> that, that might happen one day. Yeah. yeah. It probably has happened. Oh. It probably will happen. Mm. It will happen again on the fourth moon of the ninth day. The fourth so, moon on the ninth day. Yeah, so what our current blacklist of things we will now talk about freely and openly. Not racism, sorry. Oh, not racism. Oh, so and not sexism. Similar. Yeah, like, oh. we're not going to have a real blacklist, but there's, it's still going to be... <laughs> things we're not going to talk about because we're common, decent human people. Well, two of us are. <laughs> yeah, Michael, four. I can still yeah, edit Yeah, sure. I, I can still edit. We won't offend people. We'll try not we'll to. We'll try not to. I yeah, will. we can talk about Doctor Who, we can talk about politics, we can talk about... Why Channing Tatum's the wrong choice to cast as Gambit. We can! <laughs> we can talk about <laughs> these things! <laughs> we're just not going to offend people. Well, hey. we're going to offend someone. Yeah, but it's because the we internet. have opinions. It's the internet. Opinions exist. Unfortunately, like I've already offended the cat by taking the bag. So, um, see a much happier podcast already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, I don't. I didn't really plan past this point. Actually, oh, really? <laughs> I was just like, yeah, we'll be able to talk about that for an hour. <laughs> How could no? Come on! I thought I'd just please do it. Please do it. Come on! I thought I'd escape it. Oh no! Ah, you see, you fool. Now you don't want to break it. You just want to use it. <laughs> now I can put you down. And then she's gonna attack. See, that's how you solve that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So um. Right, what's the first thing on the blacklist we should discuss? Doctor Who! Oh god. Yes, it's time, people. It's We're not <laughs> going to talk about... Is this No Holds Barred? I don't know, Doctor I think, Who? yeah, this episode, No Holds Barred. No Holds Barred. There'll, there'll be little editing, it'll just be everything we say. <laughs> it's Apart good. from Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's a good thing I have a mental list of everything that I could possibly say about uh, Doctor Who. So initially, best series of Doctor Who... Chris Freckleston. Chris Freckleston. Yeah. Best yeah. Doctor? Ooh. David uh, Tennant. Yeah. For oh, us. For, for me, us. For us, Dave. No, for me, Christopher Eccleston. For, <laughs> I don't know, like, for me, I was brought up with David Tennant, but no, Christopher Eccleston's why I love Doctor Who. <laughs> Christopher Eccleston's, like, 
the first Doctor I watched. He's yeah, my first. Yeah, he was the first. <laughs> yeah, when it came back on the and BBC after that break. Um. <coughs> after the whole monstrosity that was the 80s. Yeah, yeah <laughs> after that happened. <laughs> but yeah, I think that um, Tennant was who we grew up with, and yeah. so was our favourite. Tennant and Rose, forever. Yeah, like, by default, they OGP. were our favourite. Yeah. But after, like, all of the other like watching the stories, previous series, seeing about like the uh, time war and everything. Yeah, you, you can just go back and think. You know, Eccleston was really like Eccleston that. Was damn, good. Fine. that that really he betrayed the, wrong. the Do Doctor Who like how I imagine Doctor Who, this sort of asexual guy who just strides the universe, saving people. Yeah. That's who he is. Yeah. <laughs> well, then we'll come on to that later. But I think <laughs> a lot of people agree that the best Doctor ever. Ever mm. is Tom, Tom Baker. Baker. Yeah, like come on, Tom <laughs> because Baker. he's Tom Baker. He, he was the longest-serving Doctor ever. It's because he was the best. Man. Yeah, he's the best. Oh, doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tom Baker. It's like, Tom if, Baker. like if you went outside a university or somewhere with a lot of people and just made TARDIS noises, I can guarantee so many people would rush to the nearest yeah. courtyard and be like, "Where? Where? I want to be the next companion. I, I'm ready." <laughs> I would. Take me in your arms. Would you travel with the Doctor? Yes. No. What? What? what are, are you kidding me? Look at the stuff his companions go through on a daily basis. Would you be like Mickey, then? Would you be like a couple of little adventures? Just to... Yes. Yeah. I think I'd probably do a Mickey. And like only be in a few adventures, but not constantly travel. Captain Jack sort of thing. Captain Jack. Yeah. Captain Jack. Have like... your own adventures, but have a few of the Doctor. But it's just because... Have you seen what the yeah. companions go through? Yeah, I suppose. It's because they fall in love with him. and then Yes, I'll do that. that. <laughs> well, uh, Sarah Jane Smith never had to fall in love with the Doctor. Uh, just yeah, saying, no one's puffing up my chest. But <laughs> she was a strong, independent woman. And so she was Donna. And, so was and, and Donna never Martha, fell in love with the Doctor. Martha, Martha, saw. Martha, Martha yeah. fell in love with the Doctor, but she knew it was going to be a toxic relationship and, and got out of it before. A she, healthy yeah. relationship. She got out of an unhealthy relationship. Yeah, and then she became awesome. Oh, well, she was yeah. before. As well. she, was, she was before. Yeah. I think she's incredibly underrated as a character. She is. I think she people is. are upset because, like, <laughs> Rose left and everyone's like, well, so everyone was. A f yeah. I mean, I think the only reason why we don't like Martha as much as we should have done when we first mm. watched it is because we were still hung on Rose. I mean, it's like the guy who came after Tom Baker, the guy in the cricket outfit. Uh, uh, Pete Davidson. Yeah, he was a good doctor, but he followed the best doctor, mm. and that's like. <laughs> I'm not saying Rose is the best companion, but like. That was the one. No, if we're going to say best <laughs> companion, it's got to be Eli uh, Elizabeth Slade and Sarah yeah. Jane Smith. Yeah, I suppose. I haven't watched enough of them episodes, actually. But... Well, you need to watch Genesis of the Daleks. Yes. <laughs> oh, I mean, yes, I mean, shaky sets and <laughs> yeah, so aliens in tinfoil. Doctor Who being the best costume department. Having the best costume department. Yeah. They made do with what they could get, like, and it was so good. We need to do a Doctor Who <laughs> In, episode. like, the first episode, I think there was a guy who was wearing, like, a red tight, like, um, basically a morph suit, mm. and then wrapped in bubble wrap, and that was a monster. That's terrifying! That was the first <laughs> series, not the first He episode. cannot be harmed! <laughs> <laughs> True invincibility. Well, have you seen the original Cybermen? I know! The men dressed with tin, dressed like, in tin foil. It's like toilet yeah. roll tubes and that. Isn't it? With um, something on there with like egg oh. boxes or something stupid. No, on their heads. It's oh right. Just like flannel is not the right word. Sh I know what you mean. Strainer. Yeah, colander like, sort of. Colander sort of thing. It's just one of them on their head. <laughs> like it's sort of like Blue Peter saw a recent series and made a costume from that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Blue oh. Peter designed all the Maybe. monsters for Doctor Who. It's so good. Oh, God. Uh, and then we progressed... Into right, So, who came after Donna? That, Donna was Amy and Matt yeah. Smith. Well, actually, so, no. It was the episodes where the Doctor didn't have a companion. Oh, yeah. it was pretty kind of good, actually. No, that, it right. was the one... It was the Easter one, which oh, was the Planet of the one. Dead. Even Titanic, Titanic one. Titanic one. With, um, that one was really with good. With the lady. What's her face? The blonde singer Astrid. one. Astrid. Astrid. No, the actress. What's her Astrid. name? Astrid. Um, 
The actress isn't called Astrid. No, no, the girls. Astrid. The girls. No, Astrid. this is that from um, Kylie Minogue. Yeah. That's the one. She was actually really good. She I was, was really good. Yeah. Yeah. I'd have been happy if I was companion. But, yeah. So would have I, actually. Although during that period when he had when he had no companion, we were watching. We liked it, but we knew something was missing. Uh, Waters of Mars. Yeah. That was oh, so flipping man. good. That was. I mean, like, like, yeah, but you need the human element. Yeah. Because you have to connect yeah. with the show through... Well, there is the human element. Because, yes, uh, granted with the Titanic, none yeah. of them are human apart from the... No, none of them are human. Yeah. The host aren't. The host aren't. They're robots. Yeah. And then <laughs> the one in the East one, that which wasn't very good, that we don't talk about, Planet of the Dead. Yeah. With the bus. Oh, I liked that one. Oh, that was all I right. liked okay. that. Yeah. I didn't. I did. Uh, I just like buses, I think. I think that's yeah. the problem. <laughs> but then oh, the, that also had the human element with the criminal woman. Yeah. Yeah, that one, she wasn't a great character. But, but then, in the waters of Mars, the person who wasn't meant to die and then killed herself because of everything that had happened on Mars. Yeah. I know. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's like, was that the one with Melvin in it? I mean, no. Colin... Oh, which one was that? That one was when they go on Mars and there's the giant thing and then there's... Oh, I know the one. And then they turn yeah. into monsters when they drink the water. Yes, yeah, I remember that. That was such a good episode. That was such a good episode. And it's just the he the guy who's sitting in the rocket and then one of them's walking and he's just like, I will not let you leave. And then he sets the rocket off, killing them both. It's just like, yeah. As an act of final defence. <laughs> Man... That's why we love Doctor Who. And then there was the Christmas one, which was quite good, but then uh, Doctor David Tennant regenerated. I think the problem, I think <laughs> probably why I, Doctor Who for me is Stockholm Syndrome, because the first series of David Tennant came out, and my sister brought the episode one and two and the Christmas special on DVD, and then we didn't get any more, so we watched episode one and two and the Christmas special on DVD more times than I can say. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can quote the one of the hospital and the cat people. Oh, I like well. that uh, one. Yeah, man, I can run through each scene in my head. And Cassandra, Cassandra's great. Cassandra yeah. O'Brien. O'Brien? Yeah, that's her surname. Well, it, it's like Delta dot zero seven nine one eight six three <laughs> slash whatever. And the Sycorax and all uh. that, like... Gotta love them. Sick I like Sick So of many times I saw that episode, it's basically you have to fall in love with Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good though. But Man. I think and that, <laughs> like, that, that point when uh, Tennant woke up mm. with the, in the Sycorax episode, that kind of was a bit of, like, dragging on from um, Christopher Eccleston's character. Which was him then developing into the... Um, oh yeah, the Doctor's not doctor. going to be an individual straight away. No, he's not, yeah. but it, it was the it was him no second himself. chances yeah. part, which, you know, that, that's Through kind of... Through the tangerine. Of, yeah. No second chances. <laughs> I hope people listening to this have seen Doctor Who. Yeah. Do you know who I really like? <laughs> in, 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 in Doctor Who. Okay. Um, Prime Minister. Oh, Harriet Jones. Prime Harriet Minister. Jones, Prime Minister. Don't you think she looks tired? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harriet Jones, Prime Minister. Yes, we, we know who <laughs> you are. <laughs> oh, man. I like these little sub-characters which just recur. In yeah. The... I miss Harriet Jones, Prime Minister, so much. If someone came to run for Prime Minister called Harriet Jones, that would just be invoked instantly. Yeah. <laughs> they could be UKIP for all I care. Just... No. <laughs> I don't know, Harriet Jones. Prime Minister. Just, if they did yeah. the quote as well, I'm... Yeah. Uh, the Cult of Scarrow, Hero no. Good Four. No. That, that I think was a nice idea, but I, you know, mm. you, I don't think that they'd really do that. Like, have select four out, give them names, and tell them to yeah. think like an enemy. When <laughs> Dalek Sec was my favorite. Well, the uh, Daleks <laughs> were originally meant to be a personification of Nazism. Khan went crazy. Yeah. Sec was. Black one. Um, I can't remember the other two. I think someone's using a pencil right yeah. side. Fane was one of oh, them. Yeah, that was it. Jast. Um, yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> credit, credit, trust <laughs> two. We can still remember these names. Yeah. And that was years ago. Um, uh. Yeah, I had a little remote control, Dalek. 
I ha I have got a giant one, but it doesn't move anymore. Oh. <laughs> We've also got a remote K9, which is great. Mine had a little flag on it as well. I put. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a giant Dalek set. Aaron's dad has a giant R2D. He does. Yeah. It's, it's, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's really nice it to dance. Is. Like, did he have a nice belt? I think he. Maybe I'm not sure. Yeah. I think he scavenged some parts and kind of. You yeah. Know. Surely you'd have better things to do with your time. No, nope. no, I can't think of anything better to do with my time. Michael, if I said that with your free time, you could make a life-size R2-D2, would you? Or no. Would you want Evidently to? not. Like, oh, none of us have. Point, yeah. Yeah. With my free time, I'd read Harry Potter. Again. Yeah. Again. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. Ah. Yeah. And then... And then and then we had that phase where we stopped talking about it and put it on a blacklist. Yeah. So um for this reason <laughs> entirely. Yeah. Shout out to Stephen Moffat. Yeah. Who <laughs> has led <laughs> us to a new era of Doctor Who. Obviously <laughs> loves Doctor Who. Ad admittedly but... to defend Moffat to start with, you know, some of his episodes Silence in the Library. I am just going to say this one thing. Mm. Yeah. And this is going to be the only thing on it. Other than this, I hate Moffat so much. Yeah. And, as the writer for Doctor <laughs> Who. And as the writer for Sherlock. <laughs> well, co-writer. Co-writer. Right. Stephen Moffat can only, <laughs> can only write moments, not stories. Yeah, I completely agree. Because... Yeah. He wrote The Empty Child, but he didn't write all of The Empty Child. Did he not? No, he didn't. Oh. Because you've... There's not just one writer per yeah. episode. No, I realise, but like... But he was the lead writer for that one episode. And it was a good episode. It was, yeah. And then he did Silence in the Library. That another really set of good episodes. Really good. But then, the second he got power <laughs> over the show and became head writer with the story arcs, mm. it went to shit. Being perfectly honest. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Well, yeah, I... <sighs> There, there's there's a lot like some of it is like the story and how it's portrayed but then again it's matt smith who is someone completely new we've never seen a doctor like him and he's following tenant who's probably one of the greatest doctors uh, that we you know we grew up and loved because to some degree it's not the doctor it's the episodes yeah because matt smith is an amazing actor no matt yeah. smith's a good actor but the doctor he portrays is rubbish yeah because but is that entirely his fault do you know what the the this his doctor's personality trait is quirky yeah mm. and yes you've had quirky doctors in the past peter davidson had celery that changed color mm. tom baker offered people jelly babies mm. not a jelly baby <laughs> and Sylvester McCoy had that weird umbrella. Yeah. But then, quirky is not a personality trait. Quirks are what you have. They define... you like you. That's how you cosplay something. You're defined by your quirks. You cosplay the Kirk... Qu Kirks? Quir 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 Quirks. Quirks. <laughs> cosplay the Kirk. All the Kirks! <laughs> Commander Kirk. Wait, and it's just yes, Kirk. <laughs> Matt Smith's doctor seems to be all over the place yeah. mentally and physically, and he's not concentrating, and he just doesn't portray a good doctor. My my thing is that Moffat writes episodes which are zany and exciting and really fantastical, and you're like, yeah, that was exciting and fantastical. Yeah, but the there's plot holes everywhere and they don't make sense <laughs> and once you start to think about it there's yeah. no character arc there's no development I there's just events and they say it's machina thinking about it now i can kind of see where moffat thought he was going with yeah. the doctor because he was tenant he tenant was a loved man he was like you know yeah. rebuilding things the doctor. saving people he was the doctor like mm. an idol and then, you know, you're, you're changing from that. People are going to go, oh, he's he's changed. He's, and think that he's not the same man. Yeah. So that <coughs> might be why he sent Matt Smith into a bit of a spin. I think also they were trying to 
target young people again to get the next generation into Doctor Who and make happier episodes. Because like, some of Tenants oh, were God. a bit dark. I don't, yeah. I don't yeah. like this new kind of happy outlook well, for Well, no, like this thing, it's trying to get the young audience in so you can develop the show with them and but keep the audience it's coming. It's just... But then they ruined it for the older audience and well, then they ruined it for the young audience because they won't know how character arts work. <laughs> I mean, a prime example, that Moffat cannot develop characters in Doctor Who to save his life mm. is Clara. Aww. Prime example. Clara isn't a human being. Hold on, I'm speaking as someone who actually quit watching Doctor Who. Yeah. yeah. Because of reasons. Yeah. <laughs> But Clara had no personality to start with, and she ended with no personality. You know, I'm fine with a character having no personality at all. As long as they the, develop a personality. By the end of yeah. the series they're in, they're this hugely complex person who's been changed by Same the Same as universe. Amy Pond. Amy yeah. Pond, she started off with no personality then and she had finished a baby, then she forgot with about no it. personality. Yeah. Then Rory of... died a few hundred times. I cannot stand that. Oh. I literally <laughs> cannot stand that. I think that more of that just kind of wanted a running joke in the office. I like, literally... Let's see how Rory's gonna die today. If, if in the Christmas special that um, soldier guy comes back, then I'm just done. Uh. <laughs> I literally cannot stand Rory as a character. Mm. I cannot stand him. I cannot stand Amy. I can't stand River Song. I liked River Song in Silence of the Library, but then they completely ruined her character. Doctor Who, Martha, Doctor Who. Oh yeah, it's complaining yeah. about Martha. Yeah, Moffat, There we go. Where were we? Yeah, so let's okay. Let's 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 round this Moffat. I, I mean, no, I don't think we should. I think we should. <laughs> I think we should get on to the issues with Doctor Who now. <laughs> yeah, like all the hardcore issues, such as the racism, the sexism, and the homophobia. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> we could yeah. also get into that in his episodes of Sherlock. Like Irene Adler is supposed to be a lesbian dominatrix who falls in love with Sherlock. I'm sorry, <laughs> she's a lesbian. You know. No. No, I don't. Lesbians know. don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Lesbians do exist. Oh man! No, there wasn't there that guy in the Christmas special Mount. with like the lizard lady. He's like, oh, I'm a lizard, and he's like, yeah, cool. Oh, and I'm a lesbian. And then he faints. It's just like, oh, um, was that a thing on Tumblr? <laughs> that's that's also a slight form of homophobia. <laughs> I mean, because the way that they portray the relationship between Madame Vastra and what's her name. Cockney lady? Yeah, Cockney lady. I thought it began with oh. a J, like Jenny or something. I don't know, it might be Jenny. Let's call her Jenny. Let's yeah, call her Jenny. The relationship between Madame Vastra and Jenny is not a healthy relationship to show young audiences who are growing up questioning their sexuality. Because the relationship that they're portraying is an unhealthy, toxic relationship, whereas one person is seen as the slave owner and the other is seen as the slave, or otherwise dominant and sub. Yeah. Mm. There are more issues on this. In oh. synopsis, in <laughs> su summary, surrounding, um, Moffat in summary, Stephen, Moffat sucks. Moffat cares too much about special effects. Stephen, yes, <laughs> yes, I agree. He cares more about special effects than the plot line. Stephen Moffat, we love you, man. Oh, and if you listen, write a goddamn <laughs> arc. Don't write a stick. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Uh, You're telling him to Don't write, write a bridge, write an arc. What? You're telling him to write a boat. Write boats, not write, skateboards. Write boats, not skateboards. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, I think that's good enough. That is, yeah. Write um, right boats, not skateboards. <sighs> Just get some fresh blood in Doctor Who. By the way, Capaldi Actual well. flesh blood. Kill a character <laughs> off, for Christ's sake. <laughs> What? Actually kill a character yeah. off. Let uh, them die. What the hell is wrong with he you? kind of did with Danny Pink. Don't. He didn't die, did he? He's murder, not dead. Murder on your own express. Well, he is dead. That was a shit episode. I liked that no, that, episode. that was probably the best one of the series. Yeah, like, they they took a set... I didn't like the fact it was your own express and it was murder on your own express. Oh, I'm Christy, lol. No, I didn't like the <laughs> subtle... Reference than that, but the actual episode was pretty damn good. Because my parents said it's just um, a more boring version of the Orient Express with a slight shock. Well, what it, was it, the for shock? me, it was kind of like 
Doctor Who does the Orient Express, it was pretty good. But anyway... Well, when Doctor Who did the Titanic, that actually turned out quite well. Yeah, because yeah. that wasn't the Titanic. The the t- 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 well, it was the Titanic. Titanic. The Titanic. It was the Titanic. Well, it was, no, no, it was, it was going it down wasn't... for a minute. It was a spaceship called the Titanic. Yeah. No. They didn't do the arms thing, I just realised. Near, far, wherever <laughs> you are, I believe <laughs> that the heart will... Go on. Capaldi's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I like Capaldi. I don't like the Doctor. I like Matt Smith. don't like the Doctor, though. Um, yeah. Doctor Who's great. Do more Doctor Who, but do it good. Yeah. Cool. This has been the Tangent Podcast. We have been talking about sport. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lol. Uh, I have been Jay. Wait, no, we should say goodbye first. Yeah. Wait, no, I have been James. Have We're wrapping James? up. I, I am James. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Self discovery. Oh, yeah. So easy. Um, oh. What about you guys? Who have you been? I've been, you know, the guy who sits in the corner saying nothing. And I've been... (laughs) Hannibal! Hannibal! And I've been Cindy. (laughs) You should meet Sarah. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Cindy Crawford. Uh Cool. I think she's actually a person. Daniel and Michael, I can see them, they're lying. (laughs) We're really not. Oh my god, it's not Michael. It's Cindy. 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 Okay, thank you for watching. <laughs> thank it's you for watching. Syndicate. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, well, you question your life choices. I don't think you are. Try clicking syndicate. on another episode. Yeah. Please. The, the one on the left. The one on the left. The one on the left. That, one. Oh, that, that was, one. That was, that was fantastic. Oh, that was a great Oh, one. man, that was a good episode. Yeah. That was that was actually, that's episode five. Um, yeah. Jobs. Okay, now click on the right one. Yeah, no, yeah, that yeah, was... Yeah. Wait, no, no. That's listen, the future Listen one. to five first. That was holidays. Yeah, first. Holidays. Yeah, holidays. That will come out by now. Yeah. That will be out by then. Yeah, it's a good episode. Yeah. It's a good episode. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Wood episode again. <laughs> Wood podcast again. Yeah, okay. Wood. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Thanks. Mm. Bye. 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 <laughs>